We've talked a lot about instant settlement this year. Robinhood and others have argued that it would protect customers better, lead to a more open system. But there's also a contingent, too, that wouldn't necessarily make T plus zero a priority because of some expensive upgrades required. And, you know, there's billions still in revenue from securities financing. So what needs to happen for real time settlement to become the norm and how far away are we? Yeah, good morning. Great to be here. Um, I think this is a big, uh, big day for us, a uh, big day for the industry. This is the first time uh, trades have been settled outside of the NSEC legacy infrastructure on a blockchain. And so uh, there's been a lot of talk because of GameStop around all the capital that's tied up in settlement. It's very archaic. It's very um, outdated. And it's actually adding a lot of costs for everybody uh, in the capital markets. And so Clearly, people are not going to be able to get there immediately. You have to go on a journey. And this is a product journey. We have a great way of getting people there where it's flexible. We're not saying you have to settle in T0 if you don't want to. You want to settle in T1, that's fine. If you want to settle intraday T0, that works. And so you have to have a path where you can have flexible technology and create a flexible way for people uh, to upgrade themselves to what could be a much better way to run their businesses. And that's what we've done today with Credit Suisse and Instanet. Right. I think it's a, it's a definitely a major milestone that you guys have proven that it's possible on blockchain technology. But again, does it become the norm? You said that there could be different systems, some settling T plus one instantaneous settlement. Um, you know, T plus two does add costs, as you say, but it also add, adds revenues to some such as the lenders. Yeah, I mean, I think uh what I think everyone now realizes is that T2 is just not the way that you're going to be able to run this industry on a go forward basis. And in fact, everyone wants to figure out how can they release capital? How can they lower their costs? And so I don't know if anyone wants to go to instantaneous settlement. That could be really difficult to operationalize. But you could imagine really uh, clearly that just being at a T0 end of day uh, creates some operational lift, but creates huge benefits. And not everyone can get there immediately. That's okay. You can do this in a way that creates uh, multiple speeds for participants, depending on what they're able to do. And so certain participants, like those working with us, who some of these trades, Credit Suisse and Internet, are really trying to think about ways they can change their business around. So clearly they believe that this will help. And there are a number of others who are either in the pilot with us or um, looking to join the pilot that we're operating under our no action letter with the SEC. So I think it's really clear that um, the industry wants to move, uh, but not everyone can do it in the exact same way. Chad, I wonder if, if you think it's a bit like 3D chess. You've got these big buckets of innovation and regulation in blockchain, same thing going on in, in, in settlement. And I wonder if you think regulators uh, can steer both ships at the same time. It sounds, sounds a little complicated. Yeah, I mean, you know, on the one hand, um, uh, it's been a little bit easier in the past because there's only one way you're doing things. On the other hand, um, having competition actually helps to create uh, new understanding, new ways of thinking about things, uh, new possibilities. That's what we're proposing here is let's have a different way of approaching problems uh, because we have new technology. We have a new solution set. Uh, the way we're doing things worked. It worked 50 years ago, it worked 40 years ago. But the reality is what happened with GameStop should be eye opener because the fact is there was no financial crisis. It's not like Lehman Brothers failed and now we have a settlement problem. There is nothing going on right now, yet there are these huge problems going on in the infrastructure. And if we don't solve it now, then the next crisis is going to come along and we could potentially be in the exact same position. Using new technology to do things in a new way is something we do in every industry. We should do it here, too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.